On the City Newsroom today, I'm coming to you from the Spintex Road in Accra. My name is Umaru Sanda Amadou. Now, when you hear Spintex Road or Spintex, and if anyone tells you they live on the Spintex Road or at Spintex, you imagine that they live in a very plush environment. Indeed, it is what has become the characteristics of Spintex Road or living in Spintex. Indeed, there are huge mansions here, uh, buildings that look so classic, and that uh, people live here. Indeed, it is not far from Sakumono, Tema, along the motorway, and so it's indeed considered as a rich area. But what you may not know driving past this road is that just by the road is a sprawling community, a huge community built on, guess what, kiosk. Come with me. Now, typically this would be kiosks that you would find along streets where people sell the usual items, sometimes food. But you may not also know that this is actually someone's chamber and hall. This is someone's self-contained. This is someone's whole life's earnings. This is someone's place of abode. Now, this is a fenced area. And someone has decided to carry kiosks, wooden houses, and plant them here. On the rooftops, you can see satellite dishes for those who can afford. But it's mostly a slum community. Join me today on the City Newsroom as we tell the story of a slum in a city. So this is a compound, a very maybe sizable one if you like. Um, there's some vegetable in the middle there. I don't know if it was deliberately planted or it grew from the dump site. It's a truly for odd jobs purposely, I'm sure. There's a huge tank, maybe a water reservoir. I think I should try to open it. That's if it has. Yep, so this is a, a reservoir of water. Um, very big enough. But then, maybe reservoir may not be necessary. There's a kufo gallon. There's a tap, a standpipe as it is called. This young lady is fetching water. It seems to me like the centralized standing pipe or standpipe for this whole community. Let me go and it appears there's a supermarket greeting me. This man is standing at the entrance. Hello, sir. My name is Umaru from City TV. What's your name? My name is Kono Samwe. Um, sorry, say that again. Kono Samwe. Okay. Um, this is your house? Yes. Is a shop as well for you? Yes, my wife. Where is she? She's inside. Okay, when you say inside, I'm really trying to understand where is the inside and where is the outside? Oh, okay. I... We have... Uh, Let's take it. Here is the store, and then the second one is there, where we have been sleeping. This is a kiosk, right? Yes. Can you let me go join you into your house? Is that would you would you allow me to come inside? I want to see what you have, how you live. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. 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 So first of all, this is a. All right, so help me understand. This is a porch, maybe. Yes. This is a porch. And uh, so, so tell me the portions on your house. Here is where we have been selling. So this is your market? Here is my market. And you have a TV there as well? Yes. OK, then what is behind me? What, what is on this side? This place is called what? This place oh, is corridor. It's corridor? Yeah. So this is what, veranda? Veranda, yeah. Which other part of your house? Can you show us? Yeah. Okay. Ko, ko, ko. I go. Oh, mommy is sleeping, huh? Yes. Wow. This is your bedroom? Yes. How long have you lived here for? I've been here about 22 years now. Where were you living prior, prior to this? From Akiapim. So when you came to Accra, this is the first place you came to live? No. Where did you live first? I live uh, at Salbushi. Buchi? Yes. And then how did you end up here? Or why did you end up here? Uh, I came and met a bar, a chop bar at the roadside. And through that, I met the owner of this land. And she took the place to me to hand it for her. 
for him. So you're looking, taking care of his land for him. Yes. How many plots? Oh, the plot. How that, many acres? That one, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it's big. Yeah. But where is the person, the owner? Oh, the owner is there. Alive? Yes. For 22 years now, you've been taking. So when you came here first, how was the place like? Oh, here is praying. Nothing is on the land. It's like bush. Yeah. So you were here when all the kiosks came? Yes. Who, who built the kiosk? Do people bring it themselves? The, the, the people bring them the, the kiosk. So some, how does someone come to live here? If I want to come and live here, what is the step? What's the procedure? Oh, no any procedure. It's like for help. Yeah. So you just carry your kiosk and yeah, come? Yeah. Can yeah, I come yeah. and rent a kiosk? No, the kiosk is for people's others, so they didn't rent it. First, I'm threatening on the land. Yes, people are threatening me. That's why I decided that I, I want to put kiosk here to, I mean, to, to secure me. To, I'm, I'm, I'll be safe. You have family? Yeah. How many kiosks are here, do you know? Oh, it's about 100 and, yeah, 120. Yeah, yeah. How many are you in your own house, your own room, your space? You have a wife? Yes, that's my wife. How many children? I have five children. Yeah. Are they all here? Yes, they are all here. Do you have other people living with you apart from your five children? Oh, yes. Are you proud of living here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you not renting another place you can live? Why are you living in a container, a kiosk? Oh, but uh, I'm here until the owner is ready for his land and then but you can move you can go and live in a proper place oh <laughs> god, god tells the best thank you thank yeah. you so this is the uh abode of yao and his uh, family i'm going to move through the community because this is a huge community to talk to other people and see their stories these two women are sitting here hello good afternoon can I speak to you? I'm from City TV. My name is Umaru Sanda. What's your name? Icelandra. If I met you at the Accra Mall and I said, tell me where you live, where would you say you live? Spintex. So this is Spintex? Yes. Because you are just um, maybe 100 meters from the Spintex Road. Yeah, it's also Spintex. Yeah, I'm saying that you are like 100 meters from the Spintex Road. So this is Spintex. Yeah. But if I ask you where in Spintex exactly, what would you say? Mm, Printex Yard. So this is called Printex Yard? Yeah. How long have you lived here for? Just three months. Three months. How did you come to live here? No, I was having an issue with my landlord, so I just have to move quickly. So a friend of mine uh, gets me this place. Yeah. Where, where were you living with this, your landlord? A large. What kind of structure were you living in or house were you living in? Oh, compound house. Oh, just room and porch. How much are you paying here? Yeah, um, 60 Ghana, 60 CDs. A month? Yeah. Do you live alone here or you live with people? With my small sis. Small sister. So where, where exactly do you, where is your place? This is my place. Can you show me? Can I go inside and look? I just want to see how you live your life. No, that way I can because I've made my place Shakara. <laughs> it's okay, I don't, I don't mind. Okay. I, I, okay. Can I come in? Ko, ko, ko. <laughs> okay, so um, Ice, Icelandria, is that the name? Icelandria says I should hold on. She's going to rectify a few things in her room before she gives me access to go inside. Okay, so this is, okay. All right, that's a lot of uh, luggage you have. Ko, ko, ko. Okay, wow. Tell me where this is. Where is this? How do you call this place? Porch. Porch. <laughs> Where's your family? Where are your parents? They are at Kumasi. Why did you come to Accra? I, I want to make money. That's why I have come to Accra. Are you making money? Small, small. How much do you make in a day? Oh, sometimes 600 to 900. What work do you do? I say doormats. Doormats? Mm -hmm. Can I look inside your bedroom? Oh, I've made my room, Shakara, so that one day. Because my old drop just breaks so off. 
miss everything on the bed that one there. I don't I don't mind. I don't hey, see. you don't <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. I have been locked out again by Icelanda. She goes into prepare one or two things. Okay. Oh, you can come. Come I can come in now. Oh, come okay, go, go, go. What I'll do is, let me just place hey, this. Hey, this thing is getting too much. I know. Can I sit on your, your, do, your door mat? No, it's fine. The door mat is fine. Will you give me good luck? Don't worry. Oh, yes. I'm a very, I'm a last born. Ah, okay. I'm a last born. I have good luck. You've gone to school? Yeah. Up to what level? I just completed senior high. Okay. Like, uh, I didn't pass some, so I just rewrite some. It's, so I've buy forms to invest, so I'm hoping I'll get... Uh, Which university? Uh, UCC. What do you want to go and read in UCC? <laughs> what do you want to go and study? Education. You want to be a teacher? Yeah. You want to be ed? Four years it is, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have money to pay for that? That's how. That's why I'm. I'm selling now. So I'm started savings more, small. So definitely, maybe, if God permits, I can afford for it. Do you feel shy living here? Sometimes, cause I can't even invite my friends to come and see because, at first, they know that I was staying in a room. So now that I'm in chaos, you know, oh, if they say, "Ah, so I want to come and visit you," they say, "Oh, I'm busy, Charlie. Let's make it another time." You see. Because stay in the kiosk there, hush, and you fine cry. What do you make of the environment you live in, the whole community? How is it like? Hush. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy cry. Because if you stay in the kiosk, no. the advantage is uh, you not carry like uh, 2000 to go and pay for a rent, like because uh, the kiosk is at a low price. No. But you pay land fee every month, 30 CDs. If you go and bath one CD, toilet one CD, assuming you are staying with your kids and uh, maybe your siblings are, hey, it's not easy here. It's like maybe you are staying in the kiosk, but if you calculate the, uh, uh, the money that we will pay during the month now, nah, oh, oh, my man, you can even use it to rent like two bedrooms. When you see the big buildings, the nice plush buildings, and you remember that is where you sleep, how, how does that make you feel? No, it doesn't affect me. It's part of life. Like, that even pushes me to do something for myself, you know that. Because if I see something and I envy her, I will not get anything for me, but I have to boost my morale to do something for myself, you know. Yeah. Thank you for speaking to me, Ice, and for opening up your place to me. Okay, you are welcome. I wish you all the best. All right. That's the story of uh, Ice... Icelandra? Yeah. Icelandra. Um, <laughs> a story of many other people. In this neighborhood, um, this is her bedroom that she has opened up to us. I'm still touring the Printex Yard uh, community that is housing over 100 kiosks. This is a public washroom area. Boss, hello. Can I speak to you? Thank you. I hear you provide public service here. Um, what, what's, what's your name? I'm Eric. So what do you what do you have here? What then what do you have here? We have a uh, washroom and then bathroom. Yes, How much do you charge for toilets? Both uh, w w w one city, one city. One city for yeah. if you want to shower, one city. One city, you... yeah. How about if you want to you just urinate? Uh, Twenty pesos. You have a goom poster. Yeah, 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 oh, oh. But you support goom? Yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, this is the new party, so we uh, we want I mean join him for that. Do you go to his church? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. So you go to his church. Yeah. Is that why you follow this party? No, no, no. Uh, what he says and uh, what he's come to do, I think uh, he, uh, I mean, he is good. You like him? Yeah. So you vote for him? Yeah, yeah. So that's a, a bird's eye view of Print Text Yard on the Spin Text Road. Um, everything ends here or begins here. Depends on how you're looking at it. People are rush here in the morning prepare themselves and head to work and come home. For those who want to have a late night shower, they may want to come and use this place. And this is servicing all the structures that are here. Um, it is indeed life at the lowest minimum. This is City Newsroom on City TV.